In a previous episode, I described how I repaired this negative 100 degrees C freezer. And one of the things we can do with those low temperatures is liquefy nitrous oxide. So I've got a bunch of these uh, little nitrous oxide cartridges that are sold for uh, whipped cream, uh, making whipped cream at home. And down in the cold chamber there, I've got a couple of these cartridges. So what I'm going to do is take one out and I'm going to use the top of the whipped cream cartridge opener just to sort of pierce the top of the, of the little container there. So normally if this thing were hot, uh, there would be tons of gas coming out now. It would have, you know, uh, let all the nitrous out. But instead you can kind of see a little bit of a, a vapor trail coming out. If I put it over a test tube, now we have a test tube of liquid nitrous oxide. So I'm going to put this back down to the cold chamber to keep the boiling down. Okay, so there's our tube of boiling nitrous oxide. And to see if it supports combustion or not, I'm going to put a burning piece of wood in there. And sure enough, it does help combustion. Let's do another one. The heat from the flame causes the nitrous oxide to decompose into nitrogen and oxygen, and that additional oxygen causes the flame to burn even hotter, so there's a bit of a positive feedback loop. Okay, see you next time. Bye.